All right, here we are, post-trib moment number 12. And again, we see another false teaching. Let's go. This is just so wonderful. <laughs> Elves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So again, verse 2 starts with a conjunction. This is all one thought. The rapture is explained, and he says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So that right there shows us that the timing of the day of the Lord is the same timing as the timing of the rapture. <laughs> oh boy, this poor guy. I mean, you talk about a Bible blockhead. You talk about a little foolish novice that doesn't know scripture. Oh, the day of the Lord is the same as the rapture. Really? Okay, what this guy, this guy is so confused. Okay, he teaches that the coming of the Lord is, you know, uh, what, what does he say? After the tribulation and before the wrath of God. Um, hello? <laughs> the, after the tribulation is also after the wrath of God. The wrath of God, you know, if you want to go with the actual wording of the wrath of God, of God, the vials of wrath that are poured out. You know, that's in the end part of the tribulation. And the second coming is after that. Okay, this guy is so ignorant of Scripture, it's incredible. But let's actually look at the, at the passage here that he's butchering. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Okay, now he says, all right, here's the rapture in the last three verses. Okay, 16 through 18, there's the rapture. And then he says, chapter 5, you have but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Okay, and then he says here in verse 2, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay, well that proves that the day of the Lord and the rapture are the same. No, it does not. Okay, Paul is writing to the believers in Thessalonica, and he's saying the day of the Lord, the second coming, it's, it's, I believe it's the same thing as the day of Christ. The day of the Lord, there is a reference to the second coming of Christ and then the day, the thousand year period, the millennial kingdom that comes after that. Okay, these people knew about that time period. But Paul revealed to them in, in the last part of chapter 4 there that there would be a rapture before that happened. Okay, and you say, well, how can you prove that? Keep reading. Which Steve Anderson did not do in this video. For when they shall say, peace and safety... Who's the they? Is that the body of Christ? No, that's the lost world. And they're saying peace and safety. What does the Antichrist come and bring? He brings peace. Okay, that's what he's bringing. But he's actually bringing war. And you see that here. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. The Antichrist brings war. Read Revelation chapter 6 verse 2. He goes forth conquering and to conquer. By peace he shall destroy many, it says back in Daniel. Okay. But now check this out. And they shall not escape. Escape what? The day of the Lord? Well, that wouldn't make any sense. No, what this is talking about is the lost world is not going to escape this time period right here. They're not going to escape the time of Jacob's trouble. The body of Christ will escape. Okay? It's just incredible. And you read on down through there, it's exactly what it's talking about. All right, <clears throat> That day is not going to overtake the body of Christ as a thief. Why? We're not going to go through it. All right, It's, it's just incredible how, how he could just be so mixed up here. And I've, you know, I've preached on this and preached on it and preached on it. Just incredible. But let's get back to the video here. Because he tells us about the rapture. And he says, I don't have to tell you about the times and the seasons, brother, and of that, because you already know that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Now, if the day of the Lord took place at a different time than the rapture took place, that wouldn't make any sense. Yes, it would. But obviously, they must take place at the same time for him to use it in the same thought right there, to say, you know, the timing of what I just told you about is the same as the timing of the day of the Lord. And you know that that is going to come as a thief in the night. And it's funny because a lot of pre trib rapture believers will even use that term, thief in the night, to refer to the rapture. Again, it's just like the thing of no man knoweth the hour, the day or the hour. He's using 
some of the false arguments that are used by pre-trib. Some pre-trib people use false arguments. I do not say that Jesus is coming as a thief in the night. I don't make reference to things in the Gospels to prove a pre-trib rapture. Okay, another straw man argument here. Because it is referring to the day of the Lord, which is going to happen on the same day as the rapture. No, it is not. He is a liar. Okay, that's, it, it doesn't even make any sense. How can you have the day of the Lord, the second coming of Jesus Christ, and the rapture happen at the same time? Read the passage. Jesus Christ, Christ comes back with his saints. Okay, so what do you mean? We're, we're raptured up and then we're brought right back down with the saints? You know, as the saints with Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 19, that's the second coming of Jesus Christ. It doesn't make any sense. How did, when did we get raptured up? We go whoop, up and then back down. You know, up quick, uh, judgment seat of Christ, marriage supper of the Lamb, and back down. It doesn't make any sense. This is heresy. This is satanic heresy that this man is teaching. Don't follow this guy. He's a deceiver.